This is my little observing site, it's called the Green Field. It's a tiny bit of grassy area with some trees. Uh, and just down there is the place where we want to have our community garden. The trees help. But in the late summer it's good here to look at the stars because the trees can help block out some of the, the light pollution around here. Recording this with a vintage <laughs> bush, a uh, VHSC camcorder, which I got on eBay for £9.99, and it seems to be working OK. It's not bad for something that is almost the best part of about 20, almost 20 years old, I think. This camcorder from the original receipt was purchased, in, I think, in Argus in 1998. And here it's still retro video on a mechanical TV system using magnetic tape and a, a motor uh, driving that tape. So it's pure retro analog technology from the 1980s. Uh, the system first appeared in 1982. I think uh, did, it didn't really kind of, it was probably about 80, 85 or 86 before VHSC was more common. You put a little small VHS size tape which had to be put in a, an adapter to be played back in full size VCR. And here we are still going strong. This site down here uh, was the site of the lockups when these high flats or multis is what we call them in Dundee were built in the 1960s. It was seen that everybody would have a car. Of course, now obviously it's changed days because most of the people that live here simply can't afford cars. Uh, the cost of the lockups cost a lot of money. Uh, eventually, half of them were empty, and I think half of them they were people running illegal businesses, etc., in them that didn't even live here. Uh, and eventually, the council quite rightly took the decision to demolish them. And this leaves uh, an area where we could have quite a, a large community garden. The, the battery still seems to be holding up. Oh, the trees. Oh. Some of this will come out good when I put it on the 3D television because we can do 2D to 3D conversion. Oh. Back here. So, we go. The very first kind of like brand new camcorder I got uh, was in 1990. It was the Amstrad VHSC. So it was a similar setup to this, but this has the the difference in this one is that it's even more sophisticated and it has, uh, as you can see, a zoom lens. Whereas in the Amstrad, I used to get, I've got an Amstrad one on eBay, but unfortunately uh, it doesn't work. Because uh, the problem with it is that the lead acid batteries are totally, as far as you can see, un unobtainable. But the battery in this camera uh, is a lot more modern than that. But I actually think you can still actually get these on the internet, uh, a new battery, because it probably doesn't, it won't give. And I see I'm now down to one bar on the, the power, so it's obviously it's quite old, the battery won't have the same amount of life capability in it as what it would have been when the camera was new. The camera could also be run off the mains. Uh, so this is obviously low definition television and VHS is about 240 lines, so it's... Uh, Far cry from my HD 1080p camcorder for 3D head uh, for 3D television, but however, this piece of retro technology on eBay for £9. I think it came at £14 quid for postage. Came also with a camera bag. Quite happy with this. It's a kind like of bright red colour plastic camcorder. So it's probably no doubt a plastic lens. Uh, 
having played back some of the, he came with three tapes, so looking at some of the, the footage which you're now scrubbing that are, oh, it's obviously the, the resolution and it is a huge improvement in my original Armstrong VHSC camcorder from 1990. This camera can also play back directly into the TV, with the Amstrad one you couldn't do that, you had to take the kiss cassette out and put it into a VCR with the adapter. This one has playback, so it's got a video out. Unfortunately it doesn't have a video in, some of the early camcorders had a video in, which is really good because you could do editing. But thanks to the EU that's been banned. Here, these are the remains of the Cox's jute mill, which was the biggest jute mill in the world, which was built here. This is how Dundee made its money with the jute industry. You can see Cox's stack there in the difference. Uh, let's just zoom in and talk about that. It's about 262 feet tall. I think the original chimney. Uh, some of the, the mill buildings have been preserved, but this one in front hasn't. It's lying empty. The, the back of the Burnside Court and this area a lot of foxes here at night time lots of birds 